Welcome back. In this lesson, we are going to be editing some face sets. So let's go ahead and open up your blender. Again, I'm in Blender 2.92 Alpha, so you may not see this brush, but just be aware it's coming to a blender near you. So let's go ahead and do new file general and go ahead and save it. We'll do save as, we'll just call it edit face sets. And let's set up Suzanne for sculpting. We're gonna do matte caps just to get in the habit and always add some multi-resolution. So if we subdivide a few times, I'm gonna to go to five and then flip into sculpt mode with control tab down. Now we can do some edit face sets, but the problem is we don't have any face sets. So first let's draw some face sets. So what I want you to do is just click and draw some face sets on Suzanne here. And notice mine's not showing up. So I think it's just a bug in my alpha versions, but I'm just gonna turn off the face sets Turn them back on, there they are. So if you have that trouble, that's how you bring them back. But it should be working if you're in a more later version or stable version of Blender. Um, again, I'm in the alpha, so it's a little buggy sometimes. Um, but yeah, so what I can do is just hold control to extend the little color here. So if I just wanna control click to add some of that color, I can control click to add this one, or I can just click just in general and that will make a new color. So I want you to just make up a bunch of face sets all over Suzanne's head here, maybe some for the ears, some for the chin, some for the head, you know, just go to town. I may even increase my brush size just to do a little quicker. And notice it's very big and blocky because it is actually using our base mesh, which if you hit tab is just this guy here. So that's why everything looks really blocky. And if you do apply this modifier, it's gonna be destructive towards your geometry, but you would get way more detailed face sets if you wanted to achieve that. So I'm just gonna do something here, boom, boom. Do control click just to increase that. You get the idea. So really just go around and fill in Suzanne's head here with different colored face sets. And then we're gonna edit them. Go, some for the ear and maybe some here. So that looks pretty good. Doesn't have to be perfect, but you know, just make some different face sets and then go ahead and save. And let's use the edit face set tool. So when you click edit face set, if you click and drag, mine actually grabs Suzanne and moves her around. I'm not sure why it's doing that. But if you look up at the top, there's not a bunch of different options. You just have grow face set, which is gonna do that. If you click inside of one of the face sets and hit and just click once, notice it starts growing over and over. If you do the next one, which is shrink face set, it's just going to shrink it. So I can shrink that in and it will shrink all that in. So you can do it on any color if you want you know, this one to be smaller, if you want this one to be smaller. That actually just disappeared, uh, but you can do grow face set you know, if you need more of that color. So that is how you edit your face sets with this tool. And then you also have delete geometry, which when you first do it and you click on here in sculpt mode, nothing is happening. And that's because we have the multi-res turned on. So if you turn off the multi-res, and then click on the geometry, it's going to delete the geometry of whatever color you're clicking on. So if I click on this one, it's, I mean, it is very destructive. So I don't really recommend using this unless you, you know, have a reason to really do so, uh, but that's what this tool does. So if we turn our multi-res back on, notice we've just got a mess here. So that is not gonna be 3D printable. You could try and add a solidify modifier, but uh, it may get pretty, pretty nasty pretty quick. So that is the edit face sets tool and it will let you quickly edit, add, grow, or delete your face set groups. So once you kind of get a hang of that, then just go ahead and jump into the next lesson and we're gonna keep on sculpting.